our members with the technical knowledge, leadership and advocacy skills, collaborative networks, and multidisciplinary context to achieve earthquake resilience in communities worldwide. ERI is a community of diverse people who work in policy making, community resilience, core earthquake engineering, and it provides a platform for all of these people to come together and exchange ideas and develop future collaborations and bring up new research needs. So we have the seismic design competition wherein the undergrads uh, create their own balsa wood structure and then we test them for an earthquake. And in the process, students learn the idea of resilience and how to build their structures in a stronger way to survive bigger earthquakes. So we had 19 SLC members from 15 universities, over 40 teams competing, 10 countries, four continents, 14 US states, and it's just been fantastic to see all of you. We have teams from USA, Canada, Ecuador, Romania, Indonesia, Egypt, Dominican Republic, India, Turkey, and Malaysia. Let's, let's give ourselves a big round of applause. For me personally, joining um, ERI SDC 2024 is such a huge deal because of, uh, first of all, its magnitude. Um, the participants of this competition comes from the whole world. So um, by coming here and uh, having the chance to meet all these other amazing minds from all other countries, all other, all other universities, is such an exciting and terrifying, of course, um, event. But we look forward to learning um, so many things and presenting all the hard work that, that we've tried to do for uh, these past few months. And I think it's really nice to see so many young people very like engaged in you know something when you think about it they're building something out of wood and shaking it on a table like I think some people might not understand why they're so invested in this but it's like hours and hours of work staring at your computer staring at, you know fixing issues building it the whole thing getting here traveling it took us uh, uh, 17 hours uh, for flight uh, it was a long journey uh, my feelings are, uh, you know, it's uh, complicated, but I'm very, very excited to it. Um, we had a little bit of mishap with airlines, so the airlines just didn't want to take our cargo, our crate, so we had to last minute drive 13, 14 hours from Davis all the way up to Seattle, same day. Uh, definitely a little bit of panic set in. No, yeah, I mean, put in so much effort and so many hours into this project that we didn't want to just to go waste. That's a lot of work and yeah. also. A lot of sleepless night. Yeah, <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> I'm feeling so excited and I'm so grateful for our two structures. That's why it's so much yeah. hard to make this project. It was, it was a lot of work, yeah. And they deserve it. Come on, it's just that there is so much emotions with them, so many emotions that they are facing, like last year's experience and then this year's struggle to bring their structures here and then working on it. It's all of these uh, multiple emotions combined that brings out the positive energy in the competition. Today we had our presentation where we were basically explaining the design of our structure and our rationale behind it. For the judging, there's three major components, the like structural components and then the architectural renderings and the layout that you're determining for the building. And then there's also the geotechnical aspects that you need to consider, like the where it's located and how that might cause issues for building something there. Industry professionals judge them on how their structures look and how their posters convey their ideas to like someone who might not even be familiar with the competition. So it's kind of a more unbiased opinion as well. Tomorrow, we're going to be shaking our structure on the shake table. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Today was stressful. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. That's where we actually get to physically test our models. And that is with the giving ground motions to start out, see if it actually works. It's always fun to see how we perform, but more exciting, I think, to see how everybody else does because I, I'm just blown away by everybody else's work. It's so inspiring. I mean, we have these performance predictions, but you know, it's so different in real life. And we're just excited and ready to see how it fares on the actual shake table. Hoping our ours performs well. Yeah, and I think with these things, like, you just never know. Yeah. Passing everything. <laughs> <laughs>
nervous, excited, uh, definitely more excited than nervous. I'm pumped. We're gonna go big red. red. <laughs> and then it went like. super cool and super admirable that we have so many teams from so many different places all over the world doing and competing in the same thing. Yeah, no, it's definitely very interesting seeing all the different schools, the presentation, seeing where they took inspiration from in Seattle to develop their architectural design. And then also the different schools thought different things and different ways to analyze the buildings. It is raising a lot of awareness against the, how they can design, how can they uh, uh, actually compete with the real world challenges. Learning by doing, right? It's so important, especially in this field where it's all about the hands-on work that we do at seeing something come to fruition. We're not here just because of the competition. You know, we're coming from Turkey and we had a devastating earthquake uh, in Turkey last year. That was not the only one. That's not the last one. So we're here to change something in the future, our future, our country's future. As you involve international teams, you get to see different ideas which, which might not be even thought about here. It's the way they work, it's the way they think about certain problems, it's the way they approach different problems. So all these things are very different in different international teams. So I think it's really important to include all of these teams and give them an opportunity to show what they have. We learn a lot and we notice that each of our structure from different universities take a different approach to upstand this ground motion. What we learned that there are lots of different answers to the same questions and that we can always find uh, a better answer to the most uh, difficult problems that we face in our designs. It's a whole, whole different experience to um, know uh, new international friends, to talk to them, to communicate with them. Uh, we never had this opportunity in Egypt, actually. It's uh, different in here. It's a very, very beautiful experience. Um, and uh, it's, it's uh, warm inside, you know? Yeah, we meet with new cultures, with new friends. And this is the key like, to, for the world peace. And this is the breaking of the prejudging. This competition means a lot, a lot to students, a lot to the future of our industry. Why is that? Because students basically are, they are our future, right? And then with this kind of competition, they are learning the basics, but they kind of, they got challenged, right? Um, and they are learning more than that. What you are seeing here is like a 
com collaboration of practice, academia, and students. So this is a great collaboration, and so that's why I am really thankful for you know ERI by organizing this kind of competition. So that kind of show us like as a unit we can build better better future together. People makes uh, everything great, not the uh, wood or material or any uh, each other thing, but the people, the people matter.